What's up guys, I'm Marcin from RossBirdTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Now today I'm freaking excited. I'm really excited. Are you excited? Hopefully you're excited too. You will be after I tell you guys what we're gonna do in today's video. Now it involves this right here. Bum, bum. Boom. The brand new Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. Now today we're actually gonna water cool the brand new Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. If you guys don't know, I've pretty much water cooled every Raspberry Pi that's ever come out. That's a thing that I do, that's my thing. A lot of you guys found me through those type of videos where I water cooled my Raspberry Pi B Plus, my Raspberry Pi 2, my Raspberry Pi 3, and now the new improved Raspberry Pi B Plus. Now without further ado, let's get started with the water cooling. These are all the parts right here. Let's start off with this right here. This right here is the crow pie crow pie was kind enough to send me this for review i did a review on this and i want to use this in the video and right here powering the crow pie is the new and approved raspberry pi b plus this is what we're going to be water cooling so this is our station here now let's go over some of the water cooling parts so down here this is going to be the tubing we have two types of tubing a smaller one right here this is the five slash three uh, small tubing by Tigon and then we got your normal tubing right here the bigger size right next to that We have the radiator. This is from EK. This is the cool screen PE. It's a really thick radiator by the way It's really cool really thick. It's a beefcake radiator It's really overkill for this project, but I think it's gonna look really cool and this right here This is gonna be my res pump combo. This is from thermal take I don't remember the exact model number, but I'll leave a link to it in the description It's again overkill for water cooling a Raspberry Pi model B plus, but I think it's gonna look amazing so we're gonna use that. I also have a bunch of this Alpha Cool curved fitting. This is also for the big tubing. This is how they look when they're out of the package. These are awesome fittings because you can adjust the angle of the fitting. And sometimes uh, when you're when you're creating something and uh, the angle is off, you could just adjust this here and everything should be fine. And finally, this is the CPU block for the Raspberry Pi 3. This is gonna go on top of the CPU. This is what's going to uh, water cool our Raspberry Pi. This is from Alpha Cool as well. This is their MCX Copper Edition. This is what the little tubing is gonna connect to. This is how they look outside of the packaging. Really small. There's another part from Alpha Cool. I'm gonna leave all of this in the description. This adhesive uh, tape basically is thermal transfer. So it transfers heat. That's how we cool our CPU. We're gonna put it on the bottom of our water block. Then we're going to uh, put it on the top of our CPU. That's what's gonna allow us to transfer the heat from the CPU to, to this water block right here, to the tubing. Then everything should be working handy dandy. Now we also have this adapter. This is from Alpha Cool. This will allow us to convert this big tubing right here into the small tubing. So then so small tubing will lead into uh, this little water block right here, which would again go back into the big tubing. And then that's how the whole cycle is gonna work. And we also have these borrow fittings right here. So we have a bunch of fittings. We're not gonna use all of them. I just have them laying on this table. All right guys, so this is the final item I forgot to show you guys. This is a UV active red coolant. This is what's gonna cool our Raspberry Pi. It's the final part to this build. Now this is video one of the build. This is where I show you guys all the parts and everything. There are gonna be a few parts uh, the second part we're gonna actually build everything and the third part we're gonna run some benchmarks and test and all that stuff Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel I'm Rasim from RossBartech.com and thank you guys for watching